no, just leave it as it is. To be honest, I know a bit about it, but look, I just have to kind of put trust in the ones that we elected our councils and, and trust in the government that, that they're making the decisions for us. Um, I do agree that it's a, it's a resource that is worth a lot of money, and as to who's best to look after it, then that's probably the big question. But at the moment, I'm really on the fence, to be honest. No one owns the water. Um, from what I understand, um, I think that it's obviously quite controversial. I think that um, some councils have probably done quite a good job with looking after water and others have done a really bad job. The illnesses and the deaths associated with that's a pretty bad um, a result. Um, I don't know, I think probably there needs to be a bit more information about it so that more people know exactly what's going on. I know that the um, Christchurch mayors and the um, Waimakariri are definitely against it, um, but yeah, I, I, I sort of see that it's probably something I need to know a bit more about before I can make a really strong opinion on it, but that's that's what I think so far. Yeah. It is a bit of a worrying time in the world, a lot of things are becoming a lot more sort of centralised and into one sort of system, so yeah, I, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to think that it's not going to become a sales tool, to, whether it's overseas or whatnot, to make a bit of money, because obviously New Zealand water is a commodity that's very important, and New Zealand's got good, good quality water at the moment. So, yeah, I'm more concerned for farmers than that, because you know that's that's key. Like our economy without farming and without the with the added costs for them is just going to increase inflation, as we're already seeing. So, yeah. Uh, well, personally myself, I'm not in favour of it. I think it should be. Um, should be governed by um, local body governments and at the end of the day they're, um, they're ratepayer assets not government assets so the government the, the government should keep their thieving hands off it actually is what they should be doing. Yeah. I think centralised, well, any centralised policy to protect the environment sounds good to me to be honest um, but I feel like they should have done it in a way that wasn't you know that everyone could agree on better than like estranging other people, you know, like everyone should be in on it together. That's kind of what I think about it. I, I kind of think, why are people so upset about improving infrastructure? I don't really understand. If it's an improvement to what's here, then surely it's a good thing. It seems to be about ownership, which I don't really understand. I guess I don't understand it well enough to really have an opinion, but the kind of people who seem to be against it tend, seem to me to be right-wing right people who um, maybe on the back of the COVID protests. I don't know, I just feel like it's a bit associated with that. And I think the publicity Stop Three Waters doesn't tell you anything about the issue. It just tells you that you should be against it. And I'm always suspicious of people who make, it, make something into a slogan, Stop Three Waters, just stop anything, be against everything. You know, if they were trying to educate me as to why, then I'd be more interested. But yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, if you lived in one of those places with terrible water, like Hastings, where they were getting horrible, inf surely you'd be in favour of better infrastructure. I don't see why it's so politicised, but it's probably one of those mid-term government things that just becomes politicised when it doesn't need to be. And if National are going to get voted in on the strength of stopping three waters, then I think, is that really all we've got to argue about? There's much more important things that should be talked about than three waters like inequality and child poverty and those kinds of things, which people seem to just be able to ignore. Maybe water's more concrete, more easy to kind of get your head down. Uh, yeah, I went to the protests um, because I was anti... Um, I didn't understand it, I didn't really... And I still don't, you know. I don't, don't like the way it was uh, presented or given, and I certainly don't like Manahu Mahuta. You know, I think she's a terrible... Um, front's person for it. Three waters is that water is obviously a necessity for life, for our existence, it's the most important thing and I think that um, whoever looks after the water just don't waste it, just meter it, make sure people are paying for it, make sure that the water is, is delivered and it's, and it's good for drinking, it's, it's, it's essential or paramount for survival 
and you don't want to have it wasted. It's not, it's not something that, that I think people should be making money off. It should just be like delivered from source to destination in a safe way that's efficient. That's, that's it. I don't know a lot about the three waters. I don't know about central government or what do they call it, co-governance versus local councils, but, but it, it, really it's just something you want to have managed well. Look at some other countries that have water issues, man. We're, we're New Zealand, it should be great. It's quite complicated as to like what the whole issue is about and uh, I kind of would appreciate if somebody just kind of laid out what's actually happening uh, and you know what the uh, effects could be of like the legislation on like you know my day-to-day -day life and you know the um, assets of like our councils and local government and stuff like that. Um, I'm vaguely aware of what it's what it's about but it seems to be there's a lot lost in kind of the fog and you know, to be honest, um, water management isn't exactly the most like riveting political issue. So, like, you know, it probably have to be explained by somebody who's quite charismatic. Otherwise, you'd kind of like, you know, switch off a bit. So, that, that, that's my take on it, at least. I do believe that um, that the, the the Maori have uh, a much better understanding about the environment than, than uh, the Western way, where we seem to use it as a resource rather than coexist. So, I would like to again make sure that it's, it's just managed properly in a sustainable way. Uh, that's, that's just my 10 cents. We're a little bit more about the money rather than like, we're not as connected to the, when I say we, like a middle-aged white man like myself, I don't find that we're as connected as we should be with our environment. I uh, mean, it's just better controls and regulations around sort of uh, local governments and stuff like that and um, I'm just better better people doing the job, really. Um, I think there's a lot of people that are sitting in positions where they shouldn't be, especially in water in this country. Um, you know, if you look at lots of the, the, the mess that's happened in, the, in Auckland Regional, uh, as far as water supply over the last sort of 10 years, it's been abysmal, really, because people haven't done their jobs correctly. And it's plain and obvious, really. So, yeah. Well, oh, that's been so seldom. That's been way, way overhyped. There was a little bit of, in the Havelock, um, but apart from that, you know, really, the, it's only the dairy runoff that's caused the majority of it anyway.